Hi there. This is Saturday, January the 10th, and I am working on art projects this weekend. I need to do some doodles. I want to do my documented life. I know that the Crazy Island Family Journal prompt will be coming up tomorrow. And I want to work on another project called Life Questions, LQs. Life cues. Um, this is being hosted by here on YouTube. The one that I'm following is being hosted by Monica at BC Doula. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. There's a link in the description box below. I have just started. She's into the second week. There'll be 52 questions, one every week. And you do a response, she asks a question, and you do a response. So, I knew that I wanted to do it when she first announced it. And life just gets busy, and it's been really busy for me since New Year, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. But today, I found the book that I wanted to use, and the first prompt is, choose a word. What is your word? for 2015. Well, my word, I'm going to going to say it in the, um, we say the vernacular, the common, what we understand, <laughs> uh, word is letter. L-E-T-T-E-R, meaning a piece of written correspondence. You know, every, anyone that's been watching my videos knows how much I really enjoy letters. And I've been writing letters to my YouTube viewers in lieu of sending out letters. But I'm getting inspired to write some letters. <laughs> so that's kind of my word for this year in the non-vernacular. <laughs> um, I'm going to call it epistle, which basically means a letter. So... I chose my book this morning, and the book I chose was this calligraphy book, and it's a handbook for the beginner, and I got it on sale. I was looking for the price, and I think I got this book for, I think I got it, I can't tell, I think I got it for 98 cents, either 98 cents or a dollar and eight cents at a library sale. I'm going to take the cover off. You can see it has a, oh no, I got it. Look, there's a 25 cent mark here. So I don't know what I paid for it, but whatever I paid for it, I'm going to use it. And instead of using, it's a handbook where you you uh, practice writing in italic. And you, you do all these different exercises in this book. Well, I'm not going to use it in the horizontal format. I'm going to use it in the vertical format. So, I am going to be opening my book like this. And all the text is going to be like that, but that's okay because I'm going to be covering up a lot of this text. I may be pulling some pages out. You know, pages like this I may want to rescue. Uh, I may want some text. There's plenty of text in this. And in fact, as I get working on the pages, there's, there's a lot of pages back here to practice on. And I think this page, the numbering, the numbering of these pages go to page 80, well, the last numbered page is 83, so 84, ooh, I like this. I may pull this out for my documented life <laughs> project. Um, oh, look, and this talks about making a hand-sewn manuscript book. Oh, neat. I may say that, too. That's way at the back. So, I'm going to use this book in the vertical format like this. I'm going to... Monica has her book all decorated. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time decorating it, but I am going to put L-I-F-E... Where's my L? Life... I might have to double up some of these letters. L I put the I like this. L I 
F E there, life. Life Q's. My S is entirely too large. I might have to find a smaller S. Or I might go with that and put the apostrophe. I might make this S a little bit smaller. And I'll work, probably fit in the year here, 2015. But I want to get started. I'm not going to do the cover today. And I can see already where this book is going to grow too fat for the binding. I mean, that's just almost a given in art journaling. So what I'm going to do before I get too far into it, I'm going to remove the pages from the binding and work on them separately one at a time. Nice big old thick glue there, though, isn't it? Now let's go back and do the back. I think I'll be happier, and I think what I'll do is expand this. I'll probably cut it there and expand the spine. I may keep that spine because I like the name of the book. But this way I can work on the pages separately. Let's remove these. They're glued in there nice and thick. It's almost like ripping a, a seam out of a article of clothes. It's a nice, nice glue binding. It's a well-made book, that's for sure. It probably would have held up to water media if I wouldn't put so much collage, so many collage items on it. But I, that's just my style. <laughs> Now, I'll have to go ahead and separate all these pages. I think somebody, was it Shannon, who did the heat gun trick on the glue? To soften it. so much on YouTube from different people that I forget which video I saw it in but someone and I think it was Shannon Green who was removing glue off of a book yeah look at that and it just almost wipes right off by taking the heat gun and she has a big old thick heat gun though a big old strong heat gun <laughs> Mine's a scrapbooking one.
But you get the idea. Look at that. And I'll go ahead and do this offline. Thank you, Shannon. That was really a good, a good tip. I just love learning these things on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and, and do this a part offline and remove all these pages.